your basement flooded. What could you have done? By William Jackson. Today I'm talking to you about LeakSmart, leaksmart.com. They've come out with a device, a valve that mounts on the main line, your main water supply line that comes into your home. They're available in three quarter inch all the way to two inch. Man, if you got a two inch main coming into your house, you've got hella pressure. I would have to say. So the valve, then you've got sensors, right? That can mean that gets hooked up to a hub, uh, a Wi-Fi hub, or some kind of internet hub. And then so we've got sensors, the hub, the valve. What else we got? Man, let's go. To, let's go to the website. So LeakSmart provides a complete system of smart home products to protect your home from potentially catastrophic water damage even when the power and Wi-Fi are down. Okay, I mentioned the sensor. They're like this. Alright. So what's the sensor do? Okay, so wherever there would be a potential threat of water damage, you would put a sensor, right? So there are a picture down on the floor, underneath a lav, uh, down to your washing machine, water heater. Okay, it detects and sends a signal uh, within five seconds or less and alerts you of a leak. Detects leaks, monitors temperature. Signals your leak smart cut in valve or snap valve controller. Their snap valve controller is like this. It works the same way, only it attaches to an existing gate valve or ball valve. All right. And then, as water's detective, it turns that valve open or close. It triggers an audible alarm. It flashes blue. Uh, it sends you a notification be either email, text, or some kind of push notification. You can figure, configure it to just de detect. That means just notify you, or it can actually protect you, and it'll shut off the water altogether. And the sensors are waterproof, fit into tight spaces without shifting or sliding. Okay, again, throughout your home, you're going to have water supply coming into your house. You're going to mount the valve somewhere before your water heater, let's say. And then your sensors, you're going to lo locate those throughout the home wherever there could be a potential water threat. Uh, here's a picture. Say you've got an HVAC unit up in your attic. Uh, usually those have some kind of condensate pump on those. Uh, in your basement, not only... Uh, you have your washing machine, but you also might have a sump pit um, for your sump pump underneath, um, down in your basement. And then again, you're going to scatter some sensors around your home. These are all components. You purchase each one separately as you need. Of course, you just need one valve. Oh, before I forget, I always do. Please hit the like and subscribe button so that you can get uh, notified if I get a new video put out or when I get a new video put out. Um, and then if your home is large enough or if the signal is not quite getting to back to the modem, you can put a range extender. Uh, basically, it's a signal booster to amplify that signal. Okay. And the everything is going to go through this hub like I said, I don't know if I said before so you're going to have a Wi-Fi hub or you've got an Ethernet hub unless if you want it hardwired let's say 
And then when you're away from the house, you've got an app. Everything's got an app these days. So you're going to get notified um, that there's some kind of potential leak. You could also, from your app, which is pretty great, hit a button and close the valve altogether. Let's see if I can pull up a picture of that. There you go. There is a picture of the app. Okay, so you've got a the main one. You can open it or close the valve in that killer. So here you've got a sensor at your water heater, uh, bathroom, master bathroom. So if there's water in those areas detected, then it's going to do what you tell it to do. Completely shut down the system or just, hey, just send me an alert. Let me know what's going on. See these detect only sensors? So say a sump pump down in the basement, um, there that's just some kind of, that's to take away, take away water when there's some kind of flooding or raining. Here in Colorado, we get a lot of uh, uh, big rains. And so your sump pump could fail and that's in a pit usually and that water starts overflowing because it's got nowhere else to go then you could have a sensor there uh, to send you some kind of signal that, hey something's going on down at your sump pump you may want to check it out again as I was reading through the instructions uh, for setting up the valve you can also set this thing up to uh, for a they call it test flow analytics so you could put a usage limit on this thing so that, hey, I want uh, no more than a gallon of water going through my system a day. Well, because it's got a flow sensor in that valve. So whatever you set this at, um, say you, you got a teenager who likes to do those three-hour showers, you could put a limit there and shut down the device. Or you just get a notification, maybe. Hmm. That sounds pretty hmm, incredulous. Incredulous, is that a word? Anyway, cool product. Awesome product. Save you a ton of money in claims uh, for your homeowners. And then also, I'm pretty sure that once you do have some kind of flooding damage in your home, it's a part of the insurance that requires you to then install some kind of device like this. So, you want to check it out. As I always say, now go be awesome. Hey, by the way, Jackson, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and stay to the very end and check out the other videos.